solution of equations with examples. Today, we will see examples related to the solution of an equation. Wasim had 80 rupees. He bought food items with half the amount. He bought books worth X rupees and he was left with money that was three times that of X. Can you find out the total cost of the books purchased by Wasim and how much money was left with him in the end? If we represent this situation in algebraic form, total money with Wasim is equal to the cost of food items plus the cost of books plus the remaining amount. So our equation will be here x and 3x are like terms. x plus 3x is 4x. Now, the equation will be 80 is equal to 80 divided by 2 plus 4x. Half of 80 is 40. Our equation will be LHS is 80 and RHS is 40 plus 4x. Our variable in this equation is in RHS. Now, in RHS, we only need the term x. So, we will subtract 40 from RHS. There are two ways of doing this. First is to subtract 40 from both sides. By doing so, the equation will be 40 is equal to 4x. And if we divide both sides with 4, we will get 10 is equal to x. Children, do you think you could solve it using another method? Another way of solving the equations is to transpose the terms. That is, to take one term from LHS to RHS or from RHS to LHS. By doing this, the operations in the given equation are reversed. Which means, plus will become minus, minus will become plus, multiplication will become division and division will become multiplication. In this equation, we will take 40 from RHS to LHS. And since 40 in RHS was plus 40, it will become minus 40 in LHS. So, we will get 80 minus 40 in LHS and 4x in RHS. Now, our LHS is 40 and RHS is 4x. Now, in RHS, we need only x instead of 4x. As we can see, in RHS, 4 is being multiplied by x. Let's move 4 to the LHS. On doing so, 40 gets divided by 4, resulting in 10. Therefore, we'll get 10 is equal to x. As the sign of equality shows the value of RHS is equal to LHS, we can write 10 is equal to x as x is equal to 10. We already know that the value of books is x. This means Wasim bought books for rupees 10. We know that Wasim was left with three times the amount of x. This means money left with him is equal to 3x, which is equal to 3 into 10, which is equal to 30. Therefore, Basim was left with rupees 30 at the end. Can you find out whether the answer is correct or not? Our answer is absolutely correct. Today, we have seen examples related to the solution of an equation. In the next video, we will discuss some misconceptions related to it. Thank you.